Hey everybody, it's the Texas Fish Pro Lady. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to take apart a spark clamshell body, which is the only way that you can access the engine to work on it fully. Before I acquired my 2021 Sea-Doo Fish Pro, I started out with a 2018 Sea-Doo Spark and rode that for about three years. And I've had it for five now, original owner, and I've taken it in every single year for maintenance at a dealership, Sea-Doo dealership. So my 2018 Spark started running rough sometime in the middle of this summer. And I take it in every year for annual maintenance. There's no warranty on it now, it's five years old. It still had the original battery. Never had an issue ever. Yeah, until this summer. Then it started to start kind of slow. And then I started having some issues when I was throttling, like trying to get up to speed, which it reads out that it goes to max of 42, although the GPS says 45. It started missing. My first thought was spark plugs. And then it got to where it wouldn't get up over about 30 and missing as well. And I had just a little bit of trouble with it not starting, but after a good run or two, it was fine. Just hadn't been ran in a while. Oh, in a while meaning like three or four weeks for me, because I take people out with me all the time. The starting issue went away, but the throttling issue got worse. So I just took this whole freaking thing apart, which is a, uh, I'm not gonna lie, they make it look easy. I followed some really good tutorials, but it was a freaking nightmare doing it the first time. And worse than that, once I got down into the, into the spark plug bores where the cores and the plugs are, I, I got a wrench that had a universal joint in it and it got stuck inside the bore. <laughs> so you talk about having a meltdown. At this point, at which I had hoped to be finished, 
you can see that I'm using this universal socket uh, wrench, which is a spark plug removing and installing wrench. But you can see that I've got it with an extension down in the bore and I'm trying to unloosen, unloosen, unloosen those plugs and uh, not getting any movement in the plugs. And that's when I look down at the, the wrench. So you can see here, this socket is sold as a spark plug socket for 5 8 inch which is what I needed for the spark but you can see right here so this is a universal ball joint which I was not familiar with and right here where this ball joint connects to this spark plug socket this band this band is just a millimeter or two wider than the socket and that was just enough to prevent this socket from going all the way down the bore to the head of the spark plug and making contact and you can see here where as I was turning this wrench inside that bore it was it was stripping off the sides that was my first clue was that you could see this damage here and, and then I, that's when I really panicked because I was afraid that it was possible that I'd also done some stripping inside the bores. One of the bores did end up with just the, just the slightest bit of um, ringing like this from the turning but <clears throat> it was very minimal and the bores are very long um, and so I don't think I mean, I know now that I've already tested the spark that it, uh, it didn't cause me any issues. It was very minimal at the most because uh, I did realize something wasn't working and then this started getting stuck down in there. And um, that's when I had a mechanic friend come and help me and he said, oh, it's this universal ball joint, this little rim here. I said, well, that's what I thought. It's preventing me from getting all the way down to the top of the plug. And here, here, this is extremely important here spark plug it says for removal but um, I don't know because this is very flexible it's a giant piece of rubber I don't think I would have been able to loosen those spark plugs using this because it would twist um, but definitely reinstalling those plugs back into the bores uh, it was very important to have this because you just stick that plug inside there and um, you have a very sensitive tool to make sure you're not cross-threading your plugs. I'm just showing you here with one of my old plugs what that looks like and that this boot there that's the handle and it allows you to feel the threading um, but this plug just pops in and out of the end of that it, but that helps you make sure you're not cross-threading because if you cross-thread one of these plugs and then you go run it you're going to have combustion coming out the sides and you're eventually going to burn a hole through your engine so this is what my plugs look like when i pulled them out this is the NG ngk brand i'm going to include links to all this stuff um, in the description and uh, all, these are also in my shop on my facebook page on at the texas fish pro lady on facebook but look how corroded and worn down these spark plugs are. And look at all that carbon on there. No wonder um, it wasn't running. It felt like it was missing and having trouble throttling up to full speed. Thank goodness I got a, a, a neighbor who's good with tools and a friend who used to be a jet ski mechanic. And we talked about everything and looked it all over. I got the right socket for the spark plugs and got the other one out. <laughs> Got the new plugs in, got it all put back together.
first, it was nervous, just like the very first time I ever went out on the ski ever. Very nervous, you know, is it gonna float? Is it gonna run? Is it gonna blow up? And I told myself I couldn't start it in my driveway. I was had to take it down to the ramp and start it in case it exploded or something blew out and everything is fine and it is running as smooth as the very first day I took it out. Wow, what a feeling when you've done your for, your first jet ski maintenance mostly by yourself. <laughs> you not really don't normally do your mechanical maintenance. So I'm very pleased and I'm out enjoying a quick run on this beautiful day. And I did have some people compliment it after I got it open that it was clean inside for a five-year-old ski. So Here's to a job well done and a nice jet ski run.